calculate their value of a it will not be p power one if there is no such equation calculating the value of a when we are given a function so let's go ahead and take a look f of x is equals to a to the power x minus one and we are given a point b which lies on the function f of x uh, we have 2 for the x value and minus 5 over 9 for the y. It's quite easy to see what we need to do. In place of x, we sub 2. In place of y, minus 5 over 9. So we're going to have minus 5 over 9 being equal to a to the power 2 minus 1. So a to the power 2 is equal to minus 5 over 9 plus 1 which is equal to 4 over 9 so it should be easy to see here that a to the power well let's just say a to the power 2 everything to the power a half and then 4 to the power 4 divided by 9 everything to the power a half 2 and 2 cancels out we have a being equal to 2 over 3 right uh, because 4 to the power a half is 2 9 to the power a half is 3 so a is equals to 2 over 3 so at this point we know that f of x is equals to 2 over 3 to the power x minus 1 that is 4.1 let's take a look at 4.2 so 4.2 we're supposed to write down the range of f well f of x again it is equal to 2 over 3 to the power x minus 1 so let's talk about this let's talk about this right here so the first thing that we need to realize is that this part can never be equals to 0 that part can never be equals to 0 if it cannot be equals to 0 and it cannot be negative also it means that y will always be greater than minus 1 because for y to be equals to minus 1 we need this part to be equals to 0 and we know that that cannot happen and that part can also not be negative so we know that we cannot have a value of y which is less than minus 1 so all values of y we have y being greater than minus 1 so that is the range right and then 4.3 right well not right but sketch sketch the graph of f clearly show the intercepts with the axis and asymptotes if any so our first asymptote uh, y is equal to minus one we are not supposed to touch this line because in order for us to touch that line touch line we would need uh, 2 over 3 to the power x to be equal to 0 and we know that that cannot happen so that is one asymptote and then values of x do you have a because this is the horizontal asymptote do we have a vertical asymptote no i don't think we have a vertical asymptote it seems like f of x is defined for all values of x and then the intercepts well let's let x be equals to zero and see what the value of y is so a to the power zero well we have the value of a but it doesn't really matter a to the power zero minus one so we have one minus one which is zero because any number to the power zero is one except for zero right and we know that a is not zero it's two over three so this is uh, the intercept we have zero and zero so serves as the x serves as the, as the y so we are good to go here now we just need our axis so our axis this is well what am i doing this is the y and this is the x right and then our asymptote our horizontal asymptote is at a, y is equal to minus one so this is our asymptote we are not supposed to go beyond that line we're not supposed to touch that line we get very close to it but we actually never touch it so that is x that is y and then we have our intercept right here so how is our graph gonna look like it's gonna look like this so if this is what you wrote in the exam unfortunately this is wrong this is wrong this cannot be this cannot be this is actually uh, very wrong you will see why it is wrong when you do 4.4 because 
initially i had drawn it like this but then in doing 4.4 i realized that no wait a minute this is actually wrong so our graph is actually supposed to face the other way right supposed to be uh greater when x is negative rather than when it is positive so this is what it actually needs to look like you will see why that is the case when we do the second question so let's just do that here we have x is equals to well y is equals to minus one so let's do 4.4 so that i can show you what i'm talking about it is further given that c is a point on f at y is equals to 19 over 8 right and then the question determine the coordinates of c prime the image of c when c is reflected above the line y is equals to x so that reflection if we have a b right and we reflect about the line y is equals to x we have b a right they just sort of interchange so this is the reflection that we need to talk about but we are only given the value of y so it is up to us to find the value of x so f of x is equals to a is how much again two over three four nine okay two over three right so two over three to the power x minus one right we have the value of y which is 19 over eight and then we are looking for the value of x two over three x minus one so let's take minus one to the other side so 19 over eight plus one is 27 over eight so we have two over three to the power x being equals to 27 over eight so x is equals to log of 27 over 8 with a base of 2 over 3 right so we introduce log on both sides we drop the x becomes a, a coefficient of log of 2 over 3 and we divide both sides by log of 2 over 3 we end up with that so x is equals to so let me go ahead and put that in my calculator so yeah yes log uh the base is 2 over 3 and the number is 27 over 8 so x is equals to minus 3 this is the point minus 3 is the value of x 19 over 8 is the value of y we're supposed to reflect this point uh, about y is equals to x so first of all let me show you what i was talking about when i said that um the way that you do 4.3 it has to look like this rather than looking like this yeah it becomes apparent when we do uh 4.4 because this point x is minus 3 right so x is minus 3 somewhere what am i doing x equals to 3 minus 3 is somewhere here and then 19 over 8 is 2.37 so somewhere here right so that is the coordinate this is the coordinate c that is the coordinate c but if your graph is somewhere here then x minus 3 would be negative and when x is equal to minus 3 y would be negative and you can see that that is actually not supposed to be the case so yeah uh, in doing 4.4 if you made a mistake in 4.3 you should be able to realize so when we reflect these so this is c so c prime should be 19 over 8 and then y is minus three there we go so let me know in the comments which video should i do next we've done one two three four if you have not watched those videos please subscribe go to the channel and find those videos but let me know which video should i do next which question yeah we go